Hey everybody, welcome to Bearcat Insider. This is the basketball report for week six, I do believe. If not, it's going to be for the Ponder and SNS, the second round games. Um, I I'm, think it's week. I think it's the fifth report we've done. Did I say six? You said I, six, but I think it's five. There's so much fun, we just seem like we've I, done more. I coach a lot of basketball games. Yeah. And so, it, this feels like 12 for yeah. me. Um, but here we are. We and, are. And... Um, I think I want to start it off by saying um, a big thank you to our Buy Me a Coffee supporters for this week, uh, the Robinson family, Tiff and Bub, and then uh, also the Carters, Clint and Debbie. They uh, they bought some coffee and Dr. Pepper for us, which is uh, always welcome. My cup runneth over. <laughs> this week, um, for sure. Yes. And so... Um, we owe the Robinson some stickers. We uh, do. Debbie, I talked to her at the game. She's, I'd given her some before, and she said she didn't need any more currently. She has them like in layaway. That's right. Whenever she wants them. It, maybe if we run out, we can go to her. Yeah. And get some. It's perfect. Um, you have to pardon me. I'm looking up something real quick. Um, so we're sitting here in the Coconut Palace, and we walk in, and there. my dad also does a podcast. Here's a shameless plug for my dad's National Fellowship of Raceway Ministries podcast. Uh, that you can catch on every major podcast outlet. Correct. All of you out there may know him as the sound engineer. Yes. Sponsorships available, Dad, in case you need us to plug your show. Um, man, I walked in, and there is this exquisite outline of his podcast for today. So this is how a professional podcast is run? Yes. Unlike us who fly by the seat of our pants. Amateurs. Hey, yes. but I listened to a special on the ticket this morning about Larry King, and that was his his deal. He always wanted to go in blind because he wanted his interviews to be like a conversation and I, not see, structured. I, I know what the future holds then for me because right. that is my favorite thing to do is to go in blind and kind of build the show as we go. So our future is to get married nine times? <laughs> no comment. He was only the eight different no, women, though. No comment. No comment. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm happily married, actually. Thank you. Have a wonderful Good life. recovery. Yes. You're lucky she yes. doesn't listen. Well, if she does, I just plugged her. And how awesome. should be happy now. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can uh, recover. Do you need a nap? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just, I gave her a glowing endorsement. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's what I was going for. <laughs> uh, uh, that was probably a great time for a commercial break. <laughs> So uh, we'll be back with you after a word from our, our sponsors. There is no better source for local news than the Pilot Point Post Signal. Pilot Point Post Signal has been covering Pilot Point since 1878, providing award-winning, top-notch coverage of Pilot Point and the Pilot Point Bearcats. You can start your subscription today by going to postsignal.com and signing up for their special, which is two months free of the digital and print copy, or you can call their phone number at 940-686-2169. The Pilot Point Post Signal, the best source for local news. Yeah, fans, one thing that I love about walking into the field house is looking at all the old pictures that you have from years past and being able to relive the history of those great teams and great players. And I love walking through with my sons and showing them a picture and saying, man, look at that guy and telling them a story about a great play. And you can have the same opportunity to do that with your family by using Ashley Ashley Marsh Photography to capture your family's great memories. Seeing those pictures of your family will allow you to talk to your kids or your grandkids and tell great stories about things that you've done or things that you've seen or just funny memories that you might have. So if you ever want to document your family's history, please contact Ashley Marsh Photography. You can find her on Facebook, on Instagram using Ashley Marsh Photography, as well as her website, ashleymarshphotography.com. All right, now uh, thank you to those sponsors. I will try to uh, practice better word choice for the remainder of the podcast. Um, so we're going to start with Ponder. 
you did not get to experience the Ponder game. I, I did, kind of. I followed it on a – it was a live tweet from a local newspaper. At Reese Waddell from the Denton Record Chronicle, uh, he gave pretty solid play-by-play -play with video. Um, what was not videoed is whenever the ball bounced out of bounds and smacked his phone out of his hand. Uh, it, was, it was pretty awesome. I, Man, he must have been up close and personal with was, the game. He was at the scorer's table. Um, had a great conversation with him. He, he uh, Nice guy. Very nice guy. And I, I'm just happy that the Record Chronicle made it out to a uh, Bearcat game. I think they missed the whole football season. No, they were there until – 5A started. They, oh, I think they came to the first game. But the, not the small school champion. But the minute south of 380 football started, that was the end of north of 380 coverage. Well, it, you know, you can't have it all, I don't guess. But, um, well, they have to sell papers, so. Sure. I get well, it. For, for the season, we've now played six quarters against Ponder because we've gone to overtime both times. And this time we came up short, uh, which was disappointing because I, our kids played hard enough to win. They just didn't play well enough to win. Uh, coming off of the, uh, man, the, the dumpster fire called the Whitesboro game, um, I think we were concerned as coaches is how are these kids going to respond? Uh, you know, what are we going to see? Are we going to see that? Because if, if we play the way we did against Whitesboro, Ponder is going to run us out of the gym by about 50. Um, and so... Um, the first thing that stood out is within the first five offensive possessions that Ponder had, I do believe Cade Carter had two blocks and two defensive rebounds. He, he established himself early um, in the paint. Um, and and that, that led to, uh, I think we were up 10-0 to zero, uh, right off the bat. And then Ponder just slowly cut that down, cut that down, and then we had to come back in the fourth to tie it. Uh, and then in overtime, it just got away from us. Just chipped away like Andy, Andy Dufresne. Yes, the man on the moon. Yeah. Yep. And um, not the man on the moon. That's Shawshank, isn't it? It is, but I was well, I, I was just going to let you just dangle. Just call me out, man. Yeah. Who's the man on the moon? It's Andy somebody, isn't it? Or am I just making crap up? Isn't that Andy Kaufman? It is Andy Kaufman. Okay. okay. Yes. Good. There was at least something. Let's try that, to get back on out of the ditch. Yeah. Back on the road. And so, uh, leading scores in the Ponder game, uh, Avery had 13. Um, this says unknown athlete with 12. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, his his jersey number is double zero. Oh, okay. So unknown athlete, formerly known as Ish Harris, uh, contributed 12, and then we had uh, Jay Cox with six. Uh, on the rebounding side of things, you had a uh, man, unknown athlete. He he had four, um, along with Rowdy and Avery, and then Cade had six, and Jay had five. Um, defensively, you had Cade that had the two big blocks early, uh, and then Avery Smith had three steals. And so, um, you know, it, the output wasn't enough to win the game, but like I said, the effort level was great. Uh, we, they, they played hard. They really did. Uh, if Ponder hadn't run down and immediately hit a three to start uh, overtime, which kind of automatically put us in a in a bad spot, um, I think we we could have pulled it out. I, I really felt good going into overtime. I thought maybe they had uh, you know spent their bullets and that that we were going to have a, a good chance to to come back. But the the good thing about that if there's any good thing that you can take from a loss is that we had won the game earlier against ponder so split in the season series whenever you have a team like Callisburg that's jumped way out there uh in the district standings the more games that we can split with with the team is, or split the series the better off we'll be um how do you break ties in basketball what how do they play do in game okay so if it's a two, if it's a head to head tie, say it's us and Ponder for we're tied for second, we will do a play in game. Okay. Um, uh, real quick for those of you that hear those noises outside the studio next door, the neighbors have decided to it looks like to cut every tree in their yard down and grind it at this very moment. Yes, okay. and it is it's loud. <laughs> it's very loud. It, it is loud. Um, 
And so, you know, deforestation in Pilot Point is a hot button topic. It is going uh, on today. So that's the ponder game. And so uh, I tell you what, let's take a quick break. First, second round of, of two commercials here, and then when we come back, we'll talk SNS. Located in Pilot Point, Texas, the Chandler family has been making custom cabinets for over 40 years. As a team, Chandler Cabinets is committed to designing and building the perfect cabinets for you. They will make the process comfortable and stress-free by personally guaranteeing a superior product built on the standard of superior craftsmanship and immaculate customer satisfaction. From concept to completion, perfect form and function. Chandler Cabinets is an award-winning company with a reputation for consistent innovation at the highest level of design. You can find more information on Chandler Cabinets at ChandlerCabinets.net or on their Facebook page, Chandler Cabinets. Chandler Cabinets, 40 years of excellence. Hi, I'm Greg Pelzel. Here at Pelzel Printing, we do custom embroidery, custom screen printing, and promotional products. You can reach Greg Pelzel at 940-453-5443. Go back. All right, we're back. Uh, that wraps up Ponder. We're going to move on to SNS now? Yeah. Uh, right. So the Rams came to town. They did. And uh, we ushered the Rams out of town with an 11-point win. I was in the building for that one. Well, what's the view from the uh, from the top row? I thought it was the tell of two halves. Okay. The first half, I thought we did not look good at all. No, we were down 21-20 going Matter into fact, halftime. I told a friend of mine that this was... The most underachieving basketball team I've ever seen in my life. Now that might have been an overreaction at the time, like all sports fans do, but I was very disappointed. Ask Buffalo Bills fans about overreactions. Yeah. So, other than that, the second half, uh, I have to eat a little crow. I, I know he listens, and not only does he listen, but I guess he just wanted to show me. Ish hit a three-pointer. He did. He did. And then he decided that during this game that he was going to be an inside force, that he was going to do what I think he's capable of doing every week, and he's going to take charge, and if you throw it down there in the paint to him, he's going to make things happen. Or as you like to say, he's going to do ish things. He's going to do ish things. That's the two things I noticed from top center behind the camera. Yeah, um, yeah, the expectation was to win. Uh I don't think the expectation was to be down at halftime. Yeah. Uh, and what you have is you have a Bearcat team that played a poor first half, but played excellent down the stretch. And you have an SNS team that is not the 100 point giver upper that they were last year. They're, they're improved. They returned to everybody. Uh, they're, they're way improved. Uh, number 11, whoever. SNS Ram number 11 had a great game. He shot the ball well. Uh, I, I thought he played magnificent. And then uh, number two played really well as, uh, as well until he got teed up later in the game. Uh, and then he seemed to lose focus a little bit uh, about basketball. But um, I, I thought it was it was a great game overall, uh, the, just when you look at the whole curve of it. And so uh, Ish was the leading scorer with 18. Avery had 17. Uh, and then... The third leading scorer was Dylan Gann with 11. Ish was the leader in rebounds with 10 rebounds. And then Cade Carter had five. And then Dylan Gann had four. And then on the defensive side of things, Ish, Cade, and Rowdy all had a block each. And then Ish, Jay, and Avery all had three steals each. So there's one big common denominator on every one of those lists. It's that Ish Harris is at the top of them. He was. And I think... When you look at the way he played in the ponder game, which he started showing like, hey, I'm this unstoppable force down low and you, you're going to have to deal with me. And if if I don't score, you're probably going to foul me. Um, I can drive to the basket, all those things. Uh, and then all of a sudden shows a little range in the ponder game. Um, I, I think we're at a kind of a watershed moment for Ish as far as basketball goes two straight games he's been a force and are we are we going to do it tuesday night and boyd again or are you going to regress back to the the ish that is unrealized potential um i thought that uh, you know in in the sns game i think as a scorer uh, rowdy finally played like a freshman as far as a scorer he scored zero points but if you look at the way the whole game played he, he he filled other roles very very well. Uh, he was 
he was able to find open teammates. He was able to, to not turn the ball over very much. He was able to play great defense on the ball and then also contributed with, uh, with a lot of uh, defensive rebounds. But there's things that go in that, that don't go on the stat sheet, like whenever he tips the ball out of the crowd and then another player grabs it. Rowdy doesn't, there's no metric for that. Yeah, when two players, one has 18 and one has 17, there's not a whole lot of points left. No, and, you know, it, it was nice. We're not a high-scoring team. Like, our game final scores aren't super high anyway. No, you know, with, with Rowdy, he was 0 for 5. So it's not like he, he went 0 for 13 and he hurt the team. Yeah. It seems like he uh, kind of shot the ball a little bit and he might have said, you know what, I'm just not hitting today, and then decided to, uh, you know, to, to go from there. Um so, you know, that that was kind of the tell of the game. Um, that's really, from the stat sheet, what, what sticks out. Uh, it was senior night uh, for, for Jay and Avery, those varsity basketball players. And so they, they have played uh, their senior night, and I'm just happy that they were able to get to it. I know that's been the concern all year is when are we going to get shut down, and we've been thankful uh, Did for Did the that. school relax their admittance? requirements because if that was all immediate family there was a lot of immediate family that showed up is that not the case anymore? we're a close-knit community okay so that is still the rule though that is because uh, i had told someone that they couldn't come to the game and then when i got to the game and was watch, I, I was wondering if i had misspoken i, I honestly don't know okay but i senior night would draw in yeah more people and if people aren't able to make it to a home game they can always find it on our YouTube channel. They can. And while you're there, hit the big red subscribe button. And hit and the notification button, exactly. too, while you're at it. And you'll, uh, you'll be able to know when we're, when we're live uh, from there. And then uh, another item that I wanted to mention during the game, uh, I have a new nickname. Okay. Uh, no Fly Zone, which we all know and love. That's, that's Avery. Avery. He needs a basketball nickname because okay. No Fly Zone, that's more was football. So I'm officially renamed him Launchpad. Launchpad. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is that because he can dunk or what? No, what are we because looking at here? if if you're passing it to him and nobody's covering him, it doesn't matter where he is if he's past the half court line. Because I've even seen him hit a half court shot. Yeah. Yeah. It's his favorite basketball memory. Yes, it was. He's yep. he's shooting. He is. And most of the time he's making it. Well, to the tune of he was five for nine. Yeah. Uh, three point land. And I also like how in, like not a basketball expert, not going to confuse anybody, but if he's not hitting his shot, it seems the way to me that he adjusts it to make it work is instead of getting closer to the basket, he gets further away and then it, it lines up it's and then he's per- on. Perfect Avery <laughs> logic right there. I can't hit the close ones. Let me move a little bit further away. Let me keep away. backing up till I hit it. Yeah, so uh, if Sp- SpaceX is hiring, if they need... Space Force people? Yeah, launch pad. Here he is, yeah. number 15. Uh what, number 23 in basketball? Yeah. Uh, Avery Smith. And um, I'll tell you what, let's take one more commercial break and then um, get a word from our sponsors and we'll come back and talk Player of the Week. Since 1983, the Scott Walker Insurance Agency has been covering the insurance needs of Pilot Point. Regardless of what that need may be, they have you covered. Offering homeowners, auto, life, farm and ranch, and commercial. Give them a call at 940-686-2692. That's Germania Insurance, the Scott Walker Insurance Agency. Located just north of the town square at 211 Scott Lane in Pilot Point, Texas. Scott Walker insurance agency always there to help we want to wish our varsity cheerleader abby a great senior year love mom dad and michael Puzzle Barbershop and Salon and Southern Junkies has been home of the Bearcats since 1973. Whether you are looking for a classic crew cut or the perfect game day outfit, we have you covered. We carry a few fan favorite brands including Hey Dude Shoes, Judy Blue Jeans, D Supply Clothing, and Orleans Candle Company. Come check us out on the north side of the square in downtown Paula Point or online at www.southernjunkies.com and that is Junkies with a Z. And don't forget, go Bearcats! Okay, we're back. want to thank all those sponsors. And now what has quickly become everybody's favorite segment of the week in the basketball show is who is the Caleb Marsh player of the week. Last week it was the Caleb Marsh 
Dr. Martin Luther King Holiday yes. Player of the Week. And who was that? Oh, man. Rowdy Robinson. Rowdy Robinson. I think that was his second win. Was. He's a two-timer. Okay, this week is going to be, to really confuse everybody, the Caleb Marsh NFL Conference Championship Basketball <laughs> Player of the Week. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um I'm probably not the direction I would have gone, but I I like what you're doing there. It's timely. It is. Um, and so our NFL Conference Championship basket, Pilot Point Basketball Player of the Week is... Uh, it's called the NFL Conference Championship Weekend Basketball Player of the Week. Yeah, presented by Caleb Marsh. Yes. Um, is Ish Harris. And uh, that goes back to what we've already said. In this past week, Ish has decided that uh, he's just going to be an unstoppable force down low. Uh, not only that, he's been an authoritative defender, great rebounder. And so uh, he gets the nod as the uh, Caleb Marsh Player of the Week. And so, uh, you know, I know that he, in the past week, got offered by, I do believe, Ole Miss in Utah. It was the day of the SNS game, so... Maybe we need to line up two more D1 colleges to make him offers. I just think that those offers pale in comparison to the award that he just received. I tell you what, he needs to put that, like I said last week, he needs to put that on his NCAA clearinghouse because I think that will draw some attention from uh, from others. Yes, I agree. I, and, you know, maybe he can be a two-sport star somewhere. But uh, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, as always, we uh, – We want to thank our wonderful sponsors, Dana Walker with Germania Insurance, Southern Junkies, uh, Pelzel Printing, Ashley Marsh Photography, Chandler Cabinets, and last but not least, Pilot Point Post Signal. Without those uh, fabulous sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you this awesome podcast. And so, Bearcat fans, go out and support those uh, local businesses like they support us. And as always, go Bearcats. Bearcats.